Okay, so I just finished a rotoscope project that I ran into a couple of issues and I wanna make a couple of videos uh, talking about how I'm uh, dealing with those issues. So here is the video, it's a stock footage video that I used and I wanted to rotoscope this woman hiking up this hill. And here's the end result is what I've gotten, uh, what I did this in Rough Animator. And you can see she's very small because I was just using the full size footage of the video. And what I want is I want her to be bigger uh, so that when I import this footage into my video editor, it's not so pixelated and small looking. So that's what I'm gonna do in this episode. And we're gonna use a program called Pixelmator Pro to do this. And Pixelmator Pro, if you're not familiar with it, it's a photo editing app, but they've recently added uh, video editing capabilities. And so if I just open the program, I'm gonna open up this, the footage that I've got here, and you can see there's a play button. So I'm just gonna play it within Pixelmator Pro. And again, it can handle video now. And so this is the main thing I wanna talk about in this video. Let's zoom in on our, hiker here and about 400%. You can see how pixelated this is. And this was a problem when I was animating this in rough animators, it was very pixelated. And I was thinking, you know, I wish I had a better shot of this. Uh, and I'm gonna deal with that in the next video of how I would do this in the future. And we're gonna use the same Pixelmator Pro to upscale the video before I start rotoscoping in it. So that'll be the next video that comes up on my channel. But for now, uh, let me show you a quick tip here. If we go up here and we click on super resolution, watch what we get here is, let me just move this line over. And so you can see it's smoothing the image out. And I think it's using artificial intelligence to do this. But either way, I think the right side looks better than the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the super resolution. I'm gonna hit done. And it's like, it's like instant. I don't even see it happening. And I can hit play and I get an instantly better and higher resolution footage uh, of this shot. Let me export this to show you what I mean. Uh, let's go ahead and let me zoom out again. And if I export this, I've got a few options here. Uh, the Pixelmator Pro document, I don't want that. I want some video codecs. So I can either use MP4, QuickTime Movie, um, there's also animated GIF and animated PNG. So let's just use MP4 for now. And it's gonna give me some settings so I can reduce the size of this. I, I can change the dimensions. And you can see here, originally this was 1920 by 1080 and it's a lot higher uh, pixel count on the canvas now. So I'm just gonna keep this at the default and export this and I'm gonna, change the file name from small to large. And let's just see, I wanna take a look at the two files in QuickTime and compare them, see if uh, one actually looks better than the other when we zoom in and the file sizes as well. So this is almost done exporting. Let's take a quick look when it's done. I'm gonna hide Pixelmator Pro and here's our new file. So I'm just gonna take a look at the file size. So this is only less than a megabyte. And uh, the original was even smaller than that. So let's take a look at these in QuickTime. As I zoom in here in my QuickTime player, you can see this is looking better already. Let me see if I can open up the original next to this. And if I zoom in on this, try and get these to the same zoom level here and go side by side, go one higher here. I just wanna try and show, see the pixelization is a lot worse on the original. So it's, you know, it's not perfect. Uh, it's not like a vector, but it's doing a better job just by running that quick trick in Pixelmator Pro. So that might be something that you wanna do if you've got some footage that you need to make a uh, higher resolution is just throw it through Pixelmator Pro's super resolution tool. So hopefully this quick trick helps you if you need to upscale some of your animation footage from Rough Animator or another program. Just run it through Pixelmator Pro and see what it can do for you. If you found this useful, click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Click this video for more animation tips. 
Leave any questions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and keep on animating!